of the Zeta hilt from Imperial Workshop. So this one actually came with the two replacement blades that I ordered. They just shipped them together. All right, so here's the hilt. It's pretty balanced. It's nice and uh, lightweight, so it's gonna be good for saber spinning. I, I like the finish on it a lot. I like that it's not just like straight chrome. It's kind of like a little bit of a faded chrome look, if that makes sense, I don't know. But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this. Comes with the Allen wrench and the four little screws. They're two longer ones and two shorter ones and the charger cable and the usb so that you can add your fonts time for the best part unwrap if i can get it unwrapped <laughs> not having that great a look here so there we go nice i really like this hill a lot It's probably more of my ideal um, style. I just like the, the finish on it. So on this hilt particularly, the charge port is actually circle and the button is a little bit, uh, has more of a spring to it, I guess you could say, than the Atlas hilt, which is fine with me. It doesn't really matter either way, but I just noticed those differences and that's about it as far as difference, but it's just a lot lighter than the Atlas as well. I have the 29 inch replacement blade from Imperial Workshop here. I'm gonna go ahead and use that instead of the 36 inch because with the 36 inch, it gets a little tough to uh, progress in your saber abilities. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start out with that. All right, here we go. I'm gonna tighten up these bolts so I can secure the blade and go ahead and see how it feels. And just as I anticipated, it is a lot easier to maneuver. It's so much more balanced with the 29 inch blade. And so this hilt is already pretty light. So adding the 29 inch replacement blade just makes it that much better. And this particular hilt goes for $195 and it's definitely worth the buy.